Neutscher was born in Vienna in 1892. He studied architecture at the Technical University of Vienna. He also studied informally with Adolf Loos, an avant-garde Viennese architect known for designing complex interior spaces and for rejecting architectural ornament. Neutscher's studies were interrupted by his service in World War I. After the war, he found employment in Berlin with Erich Mendelssohn, the German expressionist architect whose work is characterized by streamlined interpretations of industrial structures. However, opportunities to combine this European aesthetic with American innovations in architectural technology, particularly in steel, led Neutscher to the United States in 1923. His fellow student in Vienna, R. M. Schindler, who was already in Los Angeles, encouraged Neutra to join him. Lovell Beach House was one of Schindler's commissions for Philip Lovell, a naturopath, um, really his best client, and who became, well, Neutra's best client when Neutra got the commission to do Lovell's townhouse, the Lovell Health House, which was completed in 1929. And that house, with all the international publicity he received for it, really launched his career. By the end of the 1930s, Neutra's residential work exhibited a new direction emphasizing indoor-outdoor living. The new houses were primarily single-story to better connect them with the outdoors. Typically, they had large expanses of glass shaded by deep overhangs with flat roofs. Between the completion of the garden house at VDL 1 in 1939 and the construction of the second VDL research house in 1966, Neutra's aesthetic evolved from the geometric purity of the international style to a fuller integration of natural materials and landscape into his residential works. The Nesbitt House reflects this trend, with water features and vegetation linking interior and exterior spaces. Increasingly, Neutra brought nature into the house. The arid desert climate of Palm Springs permeates the Kaufman House, as the character of the Bailey House is defined by the cooler coastal setting of the Pacific Palisades. During the post-war period, the Neutra office typically planned residences around outdoor spaces. Extensive use of mirrored and glazed walls, sliding glass doors opening onto the landscape, and ponds winding in and out of the house further blurred the distinctions between interior and exterior. With his numerous published designs, extensive lecture tours and writings, Neutra's fame continued to grow. His book, Survival Through Design, introduced aspects of human physiology and psychological well-being to architectural design, ideas realized in VDL2. In 1949, Time magazine named him Man of the Year, calling him one of the world's best and most influential moderns. Thank <laughs> you.